Once upon a time in the English countryside, a herd of goats lived in a sanctuary. Over time, they forged powerful connections with their carers. They'd do anything for a treat, making them perfect candidates for intelligence testing. These pioneers are turning our understanding of the species on its head, with some amazing performances from these creatures. Their skills stem from their adaptation to the kinds of places goats originated, the mountains. In the Alps, this kid lives with a herd, but still enjoys its independence, which allows it to develop its mental capacities. In Morocco, Caprine are able to subsist on some very hostile land. While in Devon, England, these acrobats have returned to the wild, colonizing the cliffs. Far from the lives of their cousins in the USA, who participate in goat shows, and even yoga classes. But why are goats so smart? Let's go meet the gifted goats at the farm, these free spirits who are so delightfully appealing. Our story begins southeast of London. In the heart of the Kent countryside, the Buttercup Sanctuary is home to goats that have been abandoned or mistreated. In the morning, the residents wait impatiently for their breakfast. Each goat has a name. Every day, their carers go around delivering their rations of grain. To make sure each goat gets the right food, portions are served individually. The reason why there are so many locks is because goats are famous for attempting to get into places where they shouldn't. But the locks don't stop everyone. This billy goat named Rupert, who has lived here for six years, has made a specialty of it. He's a real greedy guts and likes coming into the office to chew the paperwork. Come on. Out you go. Good boy. This ability to break down any barrier to their freedom is a sign of ingeniousness. See you later. And yet, there has been little research into the intelligence of goats, whose brains are relatively small compared to the rest of their bodies. To fix this, animal behavior and welfare experts, Dr. Alan McElligot from the University of Roehampton and Dr. Luigi Bacciadona from the Queen Mary University of London are carrying out some tests at the sanctuary. Rupert's tricks are what inspired them. These zoologists have adapted a system used with monkeys, a two-step release. This relatively complex mechanism has two phases to it. First, the lever must be pulled, and then it must be lifted to release the reward. When he first encountered the puzzle around a month ago, 
Rupert solved it after a dozen attempts. Will he remember how it works? Yes, he's done it. But are all goats capable of this? This is Princess Leia, a floppy-eared nanny goat. Her favorite thing is sharing breakfast with Matthew, her carer. Good girl. Age just two, she has never been seen opening a door before. For the zoologists, she makes an excellent comparison. They have trained her to use the two-step mechanism. After a few attempts, she gets it. Well done, Princess, well done. It was the same for most of the participants in the study. For the scientists, it proves that goats can solve complex problems, and they remember what they have learned. Let's hope that Princess Leia doesn't start opening doors too. To understand how such skills evolved, we need to head for the French Alps. The village of Roux sits on the edges of the Mercantour National Park and is just waking up from a harsh winter. In the communal enclosure, the newborns are still vulnerable. These little ones belong to Barbichette, a nanny goat who gave birth two weeks ago. They are female twins, and she recognizes them by their scent. That's how she ensures she only feeds her own babies. But when they're bigger, things will be different. Billeted in a nursery corner, the young goats call out to their mothers. It doesn't look like much, but this behavior is remarkable. Because olfactory identification only works at close range, they have memorized their respective bleeding. Each kid's cry is a call to a particular nanny goat. The kids are locked up to save the milk, which is to be used to make cheese. After milking, the kids are released. Impatient to suckle what's left. Despite the seeming chaos, each one finds their own mother. First by listening, and then by smell. A study carried out by zoologists at the sanctuary in England proves that goats can remember the call of their young for 11 months following weaning. For these animals, who live in large groups, bleeding is an essential way to stay in contact as they move around the rough terrain. Barbichette's kids need to learn to follow the herd. 
but it's not so easy. Eventually, the little black one recognizes her mother's call. But Barbichette is under attack. Having been isolated from the herd for two weeks following the birth, she is considered an intruder and needs to fight to be accepted back into the fold. Inside, the fight continues. It may seem excessive, but this struggle for power is quite normal for goats. They use their horns to establish their place in the pecking order. During mealtimes, the little ones are kept apart for now. And to avoid taking a blow, some kids have a trick up their sleeves. That spot up there looks perfect, but how do you get there? With a game of leapfrog. The ewes don't react. With this breed, only the males have horns, but they seem, however, pretty calm. Barbichette's confrontation calms down once the hierarchy has been re-established. The goats make their peace with one another after a fight, demonstrating their social intelligence. 